Hello everybody, Evan Lazar reporting from Gillette Stadium for CLNS Media where the Patriots just wrapped up a light one hour practice session on the fields behind Gillette Stadium. Coming off Memorial Day weekend, the Patriots ease their way back in to the work week. We also have mandatory mini camp coming up here at Gillette next week. So maybe a lighter week in general for the players that were present for voluntary workouts here on Tuesday. Among those players present returning after we didn't see them last week was Adrian Phillips, Lawrence Guy, Ronnie Perkins, and kicker Nick Folk. Still no Isaiah Wynn, Matthew Judon, Nikhil Harry for the Patriots out there at practice on Tuesday. Let's start with the coaching. Patriots head coach Bill Belichick once again very involved with the offensive side of the football during the early portion of practice. During positional drills, we saw Belichick walking around first to the tight ends, then the running backs, then back to the quarterbacks. He did spend a few minutes with the defense after that point, but really a practice where Belichick spent the majority of his time with the offense. And during the walkthrough portion of practice on Tuesday when the teams were lining up 11 on 11 with the defense and the offense. The offense was on one field working with Belichick, Matt Patricia, and Joe Judge. The defense was on the other field working mostly with Steve Belichick and Gerard Mayo. So Bill Belichick very hands-on on offense. We once again saw the Patriots drill outside zone Shanahan style concepts on the offensive side of the football. And look, it's really early here in Patriots land. It's just the spring. We'll see what happens when the pads come on in training camp and the season really starts to ramp up in August. It could just be spring fodder at the moment that the Patriots look so Shanahan-esque right now on offense. But it's hard to ignore the fact that during these really critical stages of foundational building of elements of your scheme that the Patriots are running so much zone in the run game offensively and you speak to coaches that major in outside zone throughout the course of the NFL and in the college game and they talk about how important repetitions are at this point of the offseason and in general to have everybody in unison and in sync and make the flow of the play work as you move towards the sideline perfectly and get that down pat this is not a scheme where you don't you got to have everybody in sync it's what i'm getting after here and if you're going to have everybody in sync then getting them on the same page here in june is really really important so i would put this under the category of time wasted if the patriots are not actually going to feature more zone-based schemes come coming this 2022 season then they are wasting time precious time out here in the spring practicing it so much and Bill Belichick doesn't really come off as the type of guy that would waste practice time. So I think that we can put this down as something to monitor and watch moving forward. But I'm beginning to think that this is going to be a thing for the Patriots here this season, along with the offensive coaching staff, the schematic direction of the Patriots in general. We also spoke to Patriots rookie wide receiver Tyquan Thornton after practice and Thorin spoke about getting stronger not necessarily bigger I don't think he's focused on hitting a specific weight threshold at this point he does have a very small frame we stood about six feet apart from him during his press conference and it's thin you know his legs are thin his arms are thin he is thin he's gonna have to pack on some more weight here for the Patriots and as of right now and again it's early but you look at that top four it looks pretty locked in at this point in time Jacoby Myers Kendrick Bourne Devontae Parker and Nelson Aguilar there could be a door opening up for Thornton in training camp if he can push Aguilar for that fourth wide receiver spot then maybe he can make Aguilar expendable at that point but based off of his frame based off of his route tree and the development that's needed in both categories for Thornton to really start to make a big impact for the Patriots if I had to guess here in early June 
very early once again i would say that this is going to be more of a red shirt season for the patriots second round pick versus him coming in as a rookie and having a real year one impact i think a lot of patriots fans might be a little disappointed with that but let's wait and see what happens come spring and uh, comes this summer excuse me when the patriots get out there and put the pads on in training camp again i think there is a possibility a door ajar for tyquan thornton to come in and take that job from Nelson Aguilar behind Devontae Parker and potentially make Nelson Aguilar expendable here and give Thornton some reps in the regular season. Last note here from Patriots practice on Tuesday, very notable that after both media sessions here in the first couple weeks of the spring program, Mac Jones has worked at least 15 to 20 minutes after practice on his deep ball. He is the last player consistently to leave the practice field for the Patriots. We also saw the Patriots do some conditioning work and Mac is trying to lead the pack in those conditioning elements of these practices as well. He's more vocal in year two. He's putting in the work before, after, and during practice. A really focused Mac Jones right now for the Patriots here in June, trying to get himself a solid foundation to head into his second season. So those those are your takeaways from an admittedly a very light Patriots practice on Tuesday with not much to glean, but we did have some takeaways here from the Pats on Tuesday afternoon at Gillette Stadium, and you can read those takeaways in my notebook on CLNSmedia.com. I'm Evan Lazar for CLNS Media. Thanks for watching.